watching the previous video, we saw some interesting examples related to notes and coins. In this video, we will learn about some misconceptions. Golu and Appu are returning home from the feet. On their way back, they begin to feel hungry. Then they spot Babban's ice cream stall. They have to give 20 rupees to Babban for ice cream. They have this coin and this note. Golu becomes sad. He says to Appu that they have only one 10 rupee note and one 10 rupee coin. Since a coin is less in value, how will they be able to give Babban 20 rupees? Children, what do you think? Is Golu right when he says that a coin is of less value than a note? You are right. Golu is wrong. They have a 10 rupee note and a 10 rupee coin. Their value is exactly the same. Appu laughed and explained this fact to Golu. They paid Babban 20 rupees for ice cream and once again happily began their homeward journey while eating ice cream. When they had gone some distance, they came across Chanda's fruit stall. They took fruits from Chanda. But now, they need to pay 100 rupees. Both grew nervous. They thought they had paid the last 20 rupees to Babban. So how would they give money to Chanda? Then Appu rummaged through his bag and found this 100 rupee note. Golu grew even more tensed. He told Appu that it was a fake note. Children, do you think what Golu is saying is right? No, what Golu is saying is wrong. This note is a real note. From time to time, the government makes changes in the way notes and coins are printed. Thus, it is possible to have notes and coins to be of the same value but look different. For example, notice different notes of 10, 20, 50 and 100 rupee notes while 1, 2 and 5 rupee coins have different versions and all these are absolutely real. Appu explained this to Golu and gave that 100 rupee note to Chanda. While happily eating the fruit, they both reached their homes. Children, in this video, we saw some misconceptions related to notes and coins.